What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy, some, some, some. Hit the keys here today with a quick review and demonstration over Diablo Light by Cymatics. So, the people at Cymatics made a plug in, huh? Guess we're gonna try it out. Um, it's basically a transient shaper. Um, they sent a couple emails out saying that they had a light version of a plugin that they're gonna come out with. It's gonna be a full version here pretty soon, but the light version's free. Uh, so of course I had to swoop it up and try it out and bring it to you guys and let you guys know what I think. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell so every time we drop a new video, you can be the first to find out, but let's go ahead and get right into Diablo Light. Push. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, so I guess uh, before we get to Diablo Light, um, a couple people asked me about merchandise and how they could get some merchandise. Um, so I have a Teespring store. I've had one for a while. I just normally don't uh, post it. Um, but here you guys can uh, get all kinds of merchandise. I got all kinds of shirts. I got shirts for the fellas, shirts for the three ladies that watch the channel, um, hoodies, different kinds of t-shirts, tank tops. Uh, long sleeve shirts, stuff for the kids. I got some leggings. Uh, you know, I got it all over here. So blouses, more tank tops, hoodies. Um, so if you guys are interested in any of the merch, I'll leave the link below. But if you don't see the link, you can just go to um, Teespring and look for something, 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 hit the keys and you can find the merchandise. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into Diablo Light. Um, so when you open up Diablo Light, um, it's going to look like this um it's got basically two knobs it's got a punch and it's got a clip and then it's got um your soft and your hard clip it's got your input your output and your mix level in um so i put it on a whole bunch of different drum buses so i exported a drum bus then i exported a drum bus with the 808 and then i put some weak bland 808s on a beat um instead of the one that i'm using and i did that with the kick and i'm gonna put it on hi hat so that you guys can hear it on a bunch of different drum sounds and you can decide what you guys think uh, i made a little sample beat so i'm gonna go ahead and play the beat um, and then after that we'll get right into the demonstration Right, so that's a little beat I put together. Um, basically, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start off with the uh, different 808 um, and a different kick drum so that you guys can hear what it sounds like with um, basically some lighter stuff. Um, so basically, these are some drums that don't really knock knock. Uh, they just knock a little bit. Um, so I'll let you hear what they sound like um, before I put the sound or stuff on there. So this is what the 808 sounds like. All right, so now if I throw this Diablo light on there um, and I play it, I'm just gonna play with the knobs so that you can hear what they sound like. So you see it makes a little difference there. Well, not a little difference, a big difference there as far as in the distortion and the punch of the 808. So now I'll play it on the kick drum. So this is what this kick drum sounds like. See, it's really soft.
So you see it makes a huge difference in that kick um, and the little punchy, the punchiness of the kick and everything like that. Um, so now I'm gonna play um, the beat and I'm going to mess with those knobs so that you guys can hear the difference um, in the way that those 808 and that kick sounds. So you can hear that they stick out a whole lot more in the actual beat. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the Diablo on um, some hi-hats so that you can hear how they help make, help the hi-hat stand out in the beat a little bit. Um, so let me go ahead and just mute these real quick. Um, and so all these drums are in my drum kit too. In case you didn't see, we're having a 2K beat contest. Um, all you got to do um, is basically... Um, watch the last video. I'll leave the link in the corner um, and that's how you can enter um, Got all kinds of prizes and stuff like that uh, to give away for you for you folks uh, But this is what the uh, the beat sounds like with the regular hi-hat in there And then I'm just gonna turn the Diablo on and I'm gonna mess with the knob so you can hear the difference So you can hear they stand out um, a lot more in the beat. Uh, so now I also, um, like I said, I exported out um, some of the drums um, so that you can hear what they sound like if they're bust together. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm actually going to just play the drums by themselves. So now I'm going to play those with um, the beat and then I'm going to turn up the levels so that you guys can um, hear what it sounds like. Um, and so this is really good too for like, let's say you have um, a sample or a loop and the loop is low and you want to turn the loop up. You can just simply grab one of these and you can use, you know what I'm saying? Throw this Diablo on there and it'll help it a lot. Um, and then one last thing I'm going to do for you guys is I put it on um, a drum bus that doesn't have an 808 on there so that you guys can just hear um, basically what it could do for um, this bus right here. So I'll play this by itself and then I will turn it up and turn then I'll turn the other instruments on here in just a moment. All right, and so then I'm just gonna turn it on with the rest of the instruments, and then I'm gonna turn up the, the Diablo so you can hear it. So 
So overall, I don't think it's a bad tool. I think it's a all right transient shaper to get your drums together, um, to make them sit in the mix a little better. Um, I did a review on one, like maybe a couple weeks ago called Crack. Um, you can find the chord right there on the corner. I feel like that one's a little better, a little more detailed, but this one isn't bad at all. They do different things. So um, if you need something to help your drums out, go ahead and swoop this up. I'll leave the link below in the description. Uh, make sure if you guys uh, like this content, Drop a whole elbow on that like button, uh, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so every time we drop a new video, you can be the first to see. I uh, appreciate you guys' time today, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.